where I keep my sage. So it's important to clear energy within your home and around your being. I do it every day, almost. Yeah, I do it every day. I don't burn sage every day. Just about. It's important because we pick up we pick up all kinds of stuff all day long, and uh, I personally, since I feel it, feel things physically. If I don't. Clear energy in some way on myself or my home, <clears throat> then like my legs will vibrate or like weird stuff like that will happen when I get home from work and such. Or anywhere actually. <clears throat> so Anything, any kind of thoughts? Um, <laughs> okay. All right, any kind of thoughts or emotions, words, anything? old, new, whatever that was created by you or other people is energy, okay? And you may not be able to see it, but stir. You know when somebody walks into a room? You know how when somebody walks into a room and you get like a good vibe or a bad vibe or whatever, or like sits next to you and you get a good vibe or a bad vibe or whatever? Your, your energetic field has measured and sensed their vibrations. Okay, and it, it doesn't always mean like that person is a negative person. Um, sometimes it means that they, they don't know how to clear energy, <laughs> number one, or that they have just some sort of, they're carrying some sort of energetic mass or thing on them that they may not even know is there. They're carrying it around with them, okay? So, if you're around somebody who is always gossiping or just has, you know, doesn't have their head in the right place, um, you know, even like if they're materialistic or, um, if they listen to, you know, if you listen to things that bring your vibration lower, um, okay, or things directed at you too, okay, so words, thoughts, emotions that are low vibrational or dense, which is anything that's not in the light of love, right, um, those things are, right, okay, so, <laughs> so let's say that I say something, right, I'm saying these things right now, and I say it, and it, and it sends out. We can't see it, but you you speak with the breath of God, okay? Your words are very, very powerful, okay? Um, and your thoughts and your emotions are too. So the words are powerful as well as the intention behind what you're saying and the intention behind your thoughts, okay? So it, like that's why like prayer works and manifestation to me, it's the same thing, okay? Um, because you're sending positivity to someone else or to your life or to whatever it is that you're praying for or manifesting. Okay, and if it's in the light of love, if it's coming from a place of love and good intentions and light, then um, that's good, okay? It, there's more of a chance of it working, and, okay? So if you do not have good intentions, like, it might still work, but you you will definitely have ramifications for it. Okay. Okay. 
So, um, so anything you send out, words, thoughts, emotions that you send out or someone else sends to you or you pick up from something or someone or a place or anything, an object, um, anything like that, okay? It sticks to your auric field if it has something to stick to, such as something that is related to that. Like, like like attracts like, so if there's an energy on you or within you that is similar to that frequency or in any kind of like a molecule or anything that is similar or the same as that, then like it can stick to your auric field, okay? Okay, so I open the windows and I just walk around my home. I don't do this exact like thing every single day, but just when I feel it needs it, like if it if I feel it's kind of getting a little bit dense or like stagnant, if I feel like I'm not um, thinking as clearly as I want to, or maybe some sort, sometimes some certain things that I want to happen are not happening, or I'm waiting for something, or if I've been experiencing a lot of heavy emotions, <laughs> which is regularly. <laughs> okay, um, lately I've been doing a lot of intense like inner work so I've been doing it more often than normal all right okay so like even music that you listen to is high or low vibrational because it's a frequency say you go out one night Okay, you're surrounded by people. There are people everywhere, right? All around you, up next to you, up under your arm, I don't know. There's music, you know, playing, of course. You know, it's fun. You're having fun, you're dancing, all that. Okay, and then you might pass by some people that were arguing. They're having like an argument, or there's some drama going on or something like that. Right, and you, you have to get, you have to get close to them because you have to get by. All right. And then you start to feel annoyed because, I don't know, maybe you forgot something or you just start to feel annoyed. And then you feel really tired and whatever. So you get home. Not only do your clothes need to be washed because maybe there are people smoking or you just need to wash your clothes, <laughs> right? Because you've been wearing them and you need to take your shoes off. Your shoes were protecting your feet, right? You were walking around with your shoes on. Not only do those things need to be taken off and washed, but so does everything on your auric field or your aura, your energetic field, auric field and your aura are the same. It's just stuff that you can't see because you picked up all kinds of stuff from all the people that you passed by, all the people that you ran into. Those people who were arguing, all your emotions that you felt while you were out too. All of that is in your auric field, it's stuck there, okay? So say you didn't clear your auric field afterwards. Say you didn't do it in any way. Say, say that you didn't use sound healing or burned some sort of, you know, Palo Santo, sage, bay leaves, I don't know. 
Say that you didn't do that. Say you didn't take an Epsom salt bath or something. But you just take a shower. Okay, so you go to bed, you wake up the next morning. All that energetic stuff is still on you. On your auric field, it's still there. Okay? So what does that matter, Dana? Who cares? Well, did you, did you drink alcohol? <laughs> In no way am I saying you shouldn't, because that's your prerogative, that's what you... That's your um, decision, what you want to do with your life. I do not drink alcohol, personally. Just out of my, that's my own decision that I made for myself. <clears throat> but if you did, then that also adds to the issue as well. Because it lowers your vibration. So it lowers your vibration... And so anything that you pick up from just what we were just talking about, right? It makes it harder for you, your auric field, to clear them yourself. Okay, some people are born with a higher vibration and can transmute energies naturally but if these people even people who weren't born with a higher vibration if, if they um, don't do things to consciously raise their vibration and keep it clear then it's 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 weakening your auric field okay it's weakening it to where it's almost like an immune system it's like a spiritual immune system okay so by not clearing your energetic field it's very similar to just getting over the flu and then you're around people who are sick but you didn't wash your hands or you didn't um wear a mask i guess or something like that right so it makes you more susceptible to picking other things up. It's just like that. Okay, and when those things stick to your energetic field and when they're stuck to your, when you collect all these things from in your auric field, not only are you attracting unconsciously things that are the same as that, um, things like anger and worry and grief and um, jealousy, anything low vibrational and dense. You're attracting more of those things because like attracts like. Okay, and that's why I kind of like, I think it, it kind of is like when it rains it pours, right? You know that saying? So it seems like one thing after another happens, once stuff starts happening in your life, it's like, it won't stop. It's like that because, because your, your field is full of this stuff and it keeps attracting the same, more of the same things. Okay. Um, not only that, but also another reason why it's important to clear your field is because If you don't clear certain things in your field, then like eventually it manifests in your physical body too. So say you have like a thyroid problem, right? Um, some people have thyroid disorders or sore throats or even like constant um, like tonsillitis or things like that or strep throat because they have a problem in their throat chakra. Okay, maybe they um, 
were told not to speak when they were younger or you have some sort of trauma relating to speaking uh, right or you don't trust yourself or maybe some people have a problem with lying and things like that um, if you have like a reproductive problem okay and you've been diagnosed with um, like you know um, like ovary, a problem with your ovaries or your uterus or anything like that, right? Um, then sometimes that's caused by like sexual abuse or um, a feeling of having to hide your sexual nature and, and things regarding that. And also your creativity, like it can be caused by um, over time your um, creativity being stifled and like you not being able to get into the flow and um, really let your creativity and your sensuality flow, okay? So another one is um, like say you have constant heartburn or like gastrointestinal disorders, okay? A lot of times that's um, problems with your solar plexus, okay? Those are problems that weren't dealt with that had to do with your confidence, your self-esteem, um, people taking your power away, or you giving your power away. So, like, basically letting people decide things for you um, and things like that, okay? So, yeah, everything starts in the spiritual before it happens in the physical. So, because, like, the spiritual realm is higher uh, up in dimension-wise dimension -wise than we are. We're in the third dimension here um, on Earth right now, and our bodies are third-dimensional as well. So, events and uh, thoughts and things travel from here to there. It's because it, what goes around comes around, okay? Like, say you send something out, right? It goes up and, and travels, and then it comes down, right? Like that. It's like this. It's like a cycle, okay? So, except for things that are stuck to you, that you're not consciously clearing out. <sighs> So, so events and situations and things happen like this. Hi. <laughs> so something that's that's um, in your auric field that you can't see is a higher dimension than third because you can't see it. You can see things in the third dimension. So this thing, this stuck energy is stuck. Say you have like, you know, heartburn all the time or you have to take medicine for GERD or something. I don't know. Um, even like esophageal disease and things like that are caused by a lot of times it's communication problems or um, something related to that and confidence so say there's like an energetic body or mass here okay in your work field a little bit further on right and you never deal with it what happens is it keeps collecting like energies that, that, that relate to it and stick to it and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until it fit, until it reaches your body and then that's why it manifests there as a physical disease or disorder or something like that okay um, and this goes all the way down uh, to your earth chakra which is uh, about six feet below or so um, your feet and then all the way up to your crown chakra and above, okay? There are many, many chakras, more than seven, a lot more. And once you are, um, the more you advance or evolve spiritually, um, as you do like inner work and inner healing and, you know, just really doing things to grow your spirit and heal, then you become more aware and actually develop more of the extra chakras and such okay but you can't do that unless you're really actively taking um, part in clearing your energetic field now there's different ways you can do that there's sound healing um, okay there are different frequencies of sound that you can look up you can also use like singing bowls and and there's all kinds of different things you can do you can look on YouTube and find different sound healing techniques 
um, it clears it out. Okay. Sometimes you can just clap. Okay. Um, that can work sometimes for just, you know, outer level stuff. And there's also, um, like burning sage and things like that. It changes the chemistry in the air. Like it actually science has science, there are scientific research that has proven now that it actually does uh, work to clear and, um, and remove like toxins in the air it does it spiritual it does the same thing spiritually okay so it's just because of it's a frequency so it's the vibration of it it's a frequency of it not only that but your intention put into it clears it out okay so that and then you can do um epsom salt bath so an epsom epsom salt it grounds you it grounds your energy because of the frequency that it is okay um you know, and then visualization as well with your intentions, visualizing all of the grayness or gray matter, like going down the drain, right? Um, things like that. But so that's clearing your outer energetic field. The inner parts of your of your energy body is like your soul, and that's like like that's healing. That's your trauma. That's things that you have to actually put in work, like emotionally and. Um, um, mentally and spiritually to clear it out and heal it by feeling through it and, and, um, like going through that acceptance and that forgiveness and things like that in order to heal the inner stuff, because a lot of your inner stuff is attracting the outer stuff that's attaching to you. Okay. Okay. <laughs>